Decreasing knitting stitches is an easy way to shape your knitting. And as you can see here on this swatch, the knitting is getting narrower as it goes. There are two main basic decreases that are commonly used in knitting, and these are the knit two together and the slip slip knit. You can see the knit two togethers here, and they slant to the right, and the slip slip knits are here, and they slant to the left. Um, it's up to the designer which way they want their decreases to go. Here I chose to have them lean in towards a central stitch where there are no decreases worked. Um, but usually in a pattern, the there will have been some thought given to how the decreases are formed. But other times, like on the side of a sock, um, you can often just use whichever decrease you prefer to lean however you would like it to. So um, I'm going to work over to where my first decrease needs to happen. And on this side, because I'm slanting left with it, it needs to be a slip slip knit. So the way that you do that is you slip the first stitch as if to knit. You slip the second stitch as if to knit. Then you take your left hand needle and you put it back through those stitches from the front. So you go through the first one, then the second one from the front and work it as a regular knit stitch. And that makes the lean and the decrease. And then the center stitch, I work straight. And then to do a knit two together, it's just like it sounds. So you go in the second stitch first and you work them just like a regular knit stitch as if it were only one stitch. And then I'm gonna work the rest of the way across the row and you can see how it looks on the needles. So these are two really simple decreases that are often paired. Sometimes you'll only see knit two togethers or only slip slip knits. Again, it's up to the designer how they want to do their work. But here, there, you can see the slip slip knit on the needle, the one straight stitch, and then knit two together. And that's how you make basic decreases in knitting.